Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. My sisters, my brothers, let us pray that this our sacrifice be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <laughs> Lord, give us the joy by these Easter mysteries. Let the continuous offering of this sacrifice by which we are renewed bring us to eternal happiness. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. We praise you with greater joy than ever in this Easter season when Christ became our Paschal sacrifice. He has made us children of the light, rising to new and everlasting life. He has opened the gates of heaven to receive his faithful people. His death is our ransom from death. His resurrection is our rising to life. The joy of the resurrection renews the whole world, while the choirs of heaven sing forever to your glory. We join them as we sing. holy, indeed the fountain of all holiness. Let, the spirit, let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, the death he freely accepted, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. In memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread and this saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with Benedict our Pope, 
Thomas R. Bishop, the bishops across Canada, and this entire people of God. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to the arrest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her husband, with the apostles and with all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Let us now pray to God, our loving Father, in the words Jesus himself has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. This is day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of this year church and grant us the peace and the unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of Jesus be with you always. Amen. Let us share with one another a sign of this peace and friendship. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are now called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us and all our dear ones unto life everlasting. Amen. Would those of you at home join with me now in a morning offering? O oh Jesus, I come before you at the beginning of this day. I gaze at your face. I look upon your side, pierced by the lance. Your wounded heart speaks to me of God's love poured out for us. Take, Lord, and receive my heart, the words of faith that I speak, the works of justice that I would do, my joys and sufferings. When I come to the Eucharistic table, Gather my offerings to your own for the life of the world. At the end of the day, place me with Mary, your mother, and for her sake, take me to your heart. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, may this celebration of our redemption help us in this life and lead us to eternal happiness. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. I hope you will join us tomorrow as our main celebrant is Monsignor Sam Bianco. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, 
the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been celebrated. <clears throat> Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia. Amen.